Take a moment to pause, breathe, and reflect. Did you know that every nine seconds, a woman is assaulted or beaten somewhere in America? My mom um, informed my dad, and they thought like, anyways, we have to get our daughter married to somebody. Why not this guy? Because this guy is around her for a very long time saying that he is in love with her. So my marriage is arranged, and we got married after six years of him proposing to me. On the day of my marriage, after getting married on the altar, while we were walking down the altar, he came close to me and said, uh, you made me to roam around for six years, and now you are at my foot. I'll see your end. That single sentence gave me shivers in my spine where I felt like, what am I even doing here? Then again, I felt like, okay, he was so patient for six years just to get married. If I can really show him that love that he was expecting from me, probably things might change. That was my idea, that was my thought, and I started my life that way. As a child, when you witness your mother being slammed against the walls, and you come out from your room, you can hear the screams, you can actually hear the punches. As a child, I remember saying, my mother needs help. But I was the child and I was told, you know, you don't say anything. What goes on in this house stays in the house, in this house. When I became older, I couldn't really separate from the abuse because for me, it was a sense of normalcy. I had many poor relationships throughout my life due to low self-esteem, low self-worth, bullying at a young age, not understanding who I am and whose I am. But when I was in the military serving our, our country proudly, I experienced an abusive relationship for five and a half years. I was also experiencing workplace bullying because of my gender and skin color. I was in a very elite uh, community as a Naval Air Crewman. Because of that elite group, I was flying combat missions in three different wars, Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq. So I tell people I was facing a war in three different ways, personally, professionally, and globally. Who among us will stand up and say, no, no more. more? We have to say no more. Hi, I am Wyoming Paris. I am the creator and owner of thensingsmysoul.org, where we are bringing you everything that you need to hear and know about the film, the stage, and the movement of what's going on out here in our community relative to domestic violence. As you begin to look inside our world, we have some awesome women who we're going to let you see inside their lives as they express what's going on out there relative to the domestic violence issues. When I hear the word domestic violence, it, it does something to me. It just, I get chills and I always reflect because domestic violence doesn't go away. If you have experienced domestic violence, it's every, everyday living. The whole concept is that we want women to win. And to, to do that, you have to be connected. You need to be in the room. In a nutshell, just say my why is connecting and loving up on women. How can I add value to you? What is it that you're working on that I can add value? If it's not me, I'm gonna make the connection for you. Not my Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized, people think you're gonna become a pastor. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't curse, don't gamble. How this man gonna turn around and come up with a concocted story? And now four years later, I'm still in it. I'm still in the court system with him. But guess what? He's a drunk. I have voice messages and text messages with him cursing. I've learned that he gambles. You know, if you're in the courtroom and the judge say, can you identify? I, no, I know he used to be my husband, but that person over there, I don't, I don't know him. When I left out my house, it was the house of God. This house was angels dwelling in it, operating in faith in order to build this business. This is this home. 
This is a praying house. You know, this is not fake Christianity. This is real deal stuff we doing in this home. And I left that home and it turned into the devil's den. And for six months, I lived outside of that house until the courts finally put him out. And I went back in and took possession of my property, which I'm still in today. We would love if you choose Then Sings My Soul, a 501c3 nonprofit organization as your philanthropic partner. Your donation is going to help us change the narrative of domestic violence. <laughs>